I wrote when I was 20 years old. It was 1970, and I would do anything to get into the record business. And uh, a fellow came to me, he worked at Scepter Records, 254 West 50, no, uh, th they're on the label. And I said, well, if I were you, I, I would record a song that gets banned. And he said, what do you mean by that? I said, well, you know, if it's banned, there will be controversy about the song, and the son people will start paying attention to the group. He said, well, will you write me a song that gets banned? And I said, sure, I'll do that, sure. <laughs> I was 20, I would do anything, all right? So, I couldn't figure out what to write about. And you may not know this song. It, it, it did get banned all over the, uh, this great country of ours, and it is a great country. Remember that, please, at all times. And it was not apparently banned in, in Ann Arbor, Michigan. CKLW, CKLW, the big 50,000-watt uh, AM station out of Windsor, Ontario. Got a lot of airplay. Must have, uh, WKNR was the... Uh, one Keener. Of the other, Keener. Keener. Yeah, I got a lot of Ann Arbor people. It got, I think it was a top 20. Smash. And I'm Casey here in Hollywood. Do you remember? <laughs> the group's name was The Buoys. That's right. I still have the Scepter label and the Scepter <laughs> even album sleeve. I pulled it out the other day. For some reason, Allison wanted me to get it out, and I have no idea why. <laughs> it's all coming clear now, however. <laughs> Who would write a song about cannibalism? Only Rupert Holmes. <laughs> It is. It is about cannibalism. Let me quickly explain how I came to write. <laughs> quickly, quickly. Listen, I was working on an arrangement of a song called 16 Tons for an artist named Andy Kim. 20 years old. I'm working on a fan on the guitar. Proud Mary kind of feel. And I'm working on this lyric. In the other room, the TV is on, and the TV show on the... On the you don't know this story. No. The, t the TV show in the other room is The Galloping Gourmet with Graham Kerr. <laughs> I'm doing a, I'm working on 16 Tons by Tennessee Ernie Ford, a remake of it for Andy Kim. And I sing the lyric and it goes, uh, Some people say a man is made out of mud. A coal man's made out of muscle and blood. Muscle and blood and skin and bones. It sounds like a recipe. <laughs> muscle and blood and skin and bones bake in a moderate oven for three hours, top of miracle. Oh, God. And then it hit me, cannibalism during a mining disaster. This record went to number 13 on the charts. It was always banned in New York, always banned in New York, because the record stations would play it, kids would, and then they realized what they were playing, what the song was about. They'd pull it off the air. Kids would call and say, why don't you pull the song off the air? They'd say, well, because it's disgusting, and you shouldn't listen to stuff like that. That made it a hit yeah. everywhere. This is the song. I've never sung this song in public. <laughs> You'll know why in an instant. <laughs> Trapped in a mine, what had caved in? That was, by the way, rustic. What had caved in? <laughs> that was, that's how those country people talk. <laughs> Trapped in a mine, what had caved in? And everyone knows the only ones left was Joe and me, and Tim. When they broke through to pull us free, the only ones left to tell the tale was Joe and me. Timothy, Timothy, where on earth did you go? Sell his soul for just one piece of meat. Water enough to drink for two. And Joe said to me, I'll take a sip, and then there's some for you. Timothy, Timothy, Joe was looking at you. I must have blacked 
down. Just around the end. Because the very next thing that I could see was the light of the day again. My stomach was full as it could be. <laughs> this isn't really Charles Osmond for you, is it? And nobody ever got around to finding Timothy. Timothy.